I want to show you here how to integrate WordPress and Twitter. Now if you log into your WordPress administration panel, it's uh, whatever your site is, whether it's installed, wp-wadmin, and then go to plugins. Once you've clicked on plugins, you then want to click here on add new. And what this will do will in allow you to add a new plugin. So let's click on that now. Okay, now there's two ways you can search plugins. You can look for popular tags, and you can see Twitter's there, or you can just type it in here and click search, so, which is what we're going to do. So type in Twitter, click search, and it will bring up a list of plugins. And here they are. You can see there's a lot. There's uh, 14 pages of them. Um, so there's quite a few plugins here. But you can see, if I scroll down a little, you can see there's all different types. Um, they all do different things. Now, what I'd recommend is just read through the description of them and find one that pretty much does what you want. Um, look at the ratings. So this has got two ratings, and both of them are zero. Uh, it's got a rating of one star after two ratings. That would typically mean not very good. Uh, let's look at this one. That's got one rating of one, so that's not very good at all. But let's look at this one. 70 ratings. It's, uh, what's that, a three and a half. What's this? 26 ratings, four and a half. So these two, obviously fairly good. What about this one? 11 ratings. This has got four ratings, four ratings, six ratings. So you can see, what's this one? This one's got five, one rating. So, I mean, I go through and I not only look at the number of stars, but how many ratings. This has only had one rating. So five stars doesn't really say, yeah, it's great. It might be new, which is why it's only got one rating. This one here has no ratings at all at the moment, but that again could be because it's new. I personally would be far more likely to go for something like this or this because they've got a lot of um, ratings. Uh, you know, 26 ratings is still very high, 70 is still reasonably high. So I'd be inclined to go for this one. However, it does depend on what you want to achieve with it. Now you can see here that this one displays your latest tweets in your WordPress blog, simple. You may want to make it go the other way, which is what this one does. You may want to just display your Twitter updates, which is what this does. This puts a widget into your sidebar. So you can then go into appearance and widgets and you can put the widget into your sidebar and your Twitter updates will appear on your blog. Um, you can see here, this one takes feeds um, and so on and so forth. So there's lots of different ones that you, you choices you have here. Very simple to install. You just click on it or you click click on install, it grays out the screen, comes up with another box. You then click install and it's installed. And then it will come up with the settings. The settings will be hidden somewhere in one of these. So let's just install this one now. So there you are, it tells me it's not been tested with my current version of WordPress. That should be okay, shouldn't be a problem. It tells you how to use it. If you're using WordPress widgets, just drag the widget into your sidebar or you can use that. It tells you a bit about customizing it here as well. So you can see lots of, you know, very, very useful, but you can go to the plugin homepage here to find some more information about it. So all I need to do is click there and it will install it. So let me install it now. And you can see there it's now telling me that it's installed, which is great. It should automatically install on your configuration. So all I need to do is click activate plugin and it will activate it. You can install plugins in WordPress, but until you activate them, they don't actually do anything. So let me activate it now. So to put this into your blog, you go to appearance and then widgets here. So you can see here's my, my Twitter thing. So I can take this and put it into my sidebar. So what I do is I'll drag and drop it into one of my sidebars. So you can see there's there's one of my sidebars. All right, let's see if I can get it in there. Drag. And I'll just drop it in there. You can see you put a title for the sidebar, your username, number of links, and so on and so forth. So you can put all this in if you want. And what this will do is on your blog, in the sidebar, your Twitter posts will appear and they'll just scroll through uh, a few at a time. Really, really good tool if you want to integrate your Twitter like this. Now
Now, the other one I want to show you is one called Twitter Tools. Now, I've got it installed on here and activated. You do the same as we've done before. But you go to Settings, and the options for it are under Settings. There's Twitter Tools here. So let's click on that now. Now, you can see here, you need to put in your username, your password. Um, you've got options, lots and lots of options here. So I can create a tweet when I post on my blog. So what it would do is every time I make a blog post, it will tweet for me. I can set this on by default. So yes, create a blog post from each of your tweets. No, I don't want it to go the other way. I want to tweet when there's a blog post, but I don't want my blog posts becoming tweets. Um, so there you are. You can do digests. You can pick a category for it. It's up to you which one you want it in. Uh, you can put tags on them as well. You put your name in. And you scroll down how many tweets to show in the sidebar. Uh, do you want to exclude replies? Lots and lots of options here. So you can see this is actually quite good. Uh, very, very useful. So I'd really recommend, again, this, this one allows you to set it up. So if you've got a blog on autopilot, okay, your blog's running on autopilot, it's automatically drip, dripping content into your WordPress blog. What this will do is every time a new piece of content arrives, it will then go to your Twitter account and go, hey, new piece of content just arrived, and tweet about it. How fantastic is that? Very, very, very powerful, very simple, and very good for you. Because what it will do is automatically copy between the two. And you can see as well, the other thing it's done is it's added here under posts the option to post a tweet as well so very very useful there it's complete interaction between the two very very powerful it's not difficult to integrate your wordpress and twitter and it's a good idea i think if you have a wordpress blog to set it up so that it tweets to uh, your tweet twitter account so that your followers can very very simply see that you've got a new post and they'll come through and that way you're not having to do your blog post then go to twitter and go hey look at my blog post it does it for you how nice is that so that'll make your life an awful lot easier if you can do that very very simple this one is twitter tools so both of these are powerful and effective plugins that you can use to really uh, integrate wordpress and twitter so that you get the most from both of them